Hello there, Capricorn. Let's find out what your angel number is and your messages, or maybe it's your angel numbers. I don't know. We'll see one or two or three cards come out. I don't know. But let's find out first, and then we'll get into your time-sensitive oracle messages. All right, Capricorn. We have accountability and also a rebellion. Oh my gosh, this is really stating that you are different, that you are divinely protected. We have 69, 510, and 444. So you're in this place of, you know, creating a strong and stable foundation for you. You are concentrated or you are being guided to concentrate on the things that are working for you and not being afraid of, you know, letting go or changing the things that aren't working for you because this is the time to do it. And I do feel that you're taking this uh, sense of accountability um, to stand tr strong in your truth and not conform to others' ideas or influences because it just rubs you the wrong way because you've got this rebellious soul, not in a bad way. This is something that you should be proud of. There's something about you that is definitely different, unique. Um, hopefully you do notice those and that you nurture and nourish that about yourself because this is what makes you so strong um, and so different and maybe even wanted. I'm getting this energy about being wanted. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe it's a good thing or a bad thing because I don't know because we got this thing about protection, you know, when, when you got a good thing going, all kinds of things are attracted to you. But do, do stand in a place that you are being divinely protected. You are securing yourself for, you know, with something that will give you some type of stability. So you just got to trust even if you have to, you know, shift or make a move or change something. Um, know that you are really being guided at this time. And you could be assured that, you know, the heavens has got your back when it comes to rebelling against those things that just aren't you. All right, let's find out what your time sensitive oracle messages are for Capricorn. Okay, we got, we're going to be using this deck and it's got profanity in it. So hopefully it doesn't trigger you. It's just here to be fun and light. Anyhow, this is going to be for September 6th to September 19th, Capricorn. All right, let's find out what, what spirit wants you to know during this time period. Oh, we got love. <laughs> okay. I love this. You got to get love, right? Be loved, you know, do whatever you need to do. Get some, oh, get some and give some. It will cheer your ass up. <laughs> okay. Um, some of you, I just, I just got, my eyes just went to this. And we're really, you know, spirit just wants me to really just read on this side, but um, I am reading on both because they're kind of in intertwined anyways, but it says, stop trying to change people. That shit never works. And, and I, I feel, you know, whatever we're trying to change, whether it's a person, people, idea, maybe it's, you know, a situation, it won't work. It just backfires because it makes us feel like we're struggling and going up a hill. Um, so just be in this place of love, even in the midst for some of you where maybe it's hard, right? Because maybe we've, you know, we've had to um, be in this place where, you know, we know we could be challenging or triggering others possibly not all of you um but, but maybe but maybe some of you are fearing about this rebellious side of you or something that just really stands out so you know there's something about being you know taking accountability right and being in the state of love and also love is going to neutralize any um weird energies right uh you know combat hate with love right fear with love um, it doesn't mean you have to love them or love that. You can just find in your mind's eye something that you truly love or go back to a place where you felt that energy of love and just let that be your powerhouse and your secret weapon right now. Okay, what else? Wait, what does that say on the other side? Oh, this one, I forgot. Yeah, you do you. You are doing you. Look at that, accountability. Uh, rebellion. Yes, you do you. Hmm. Love. Okay. This is funny that it has the goat because I feel that this is your, you know, your zodiac sign too. Um, there is something out of balance um, in your life. So do whatever you got to do to correct it. And right after that, we have do a walking meditation each day of the next or each day for the next week. 
whether it's meditation, a walking meditation, yoga, uh, somewhere where you can just be mindful and present with your surroundings, um, practicing being mindful. It's almost like stumbling. It's like as you're out there doing your thing, doing you, it's like you stumble across all these good things, things that were unexpected, some surprises here. Why do I feel something that we feel, okay, why am I picking up something about, um, you know, it's like, I don't know if it's other people driving you crazy or it's feeling like somebody is stepping over our boundaries or maybe we just have blurry boundaries that we, we're just, we're, we're, we're getting things right and aligned. And, and that's what you really need to focus on. So just, you know, be in this place of focus on what's working and give that your attention. And if something isn't working, you know, m try to make a change or ask for guidance on that because at least you're tapping into this awareness about it. And that is a gift. Yeah, you're going to be getting something unexpected. Material needs will be um, coming to you. The support you need, maybe the time you need. What else? Oh, you got a feeling you just can't shake. Yeah, so that little voice inside you, listen to that shit. <laughs> so funny. so uh, funny. I don't know, I feel like we should just use that too because F it, because <laughs> you're, rebel you're rebelling here. Oh my God, that is so funny. I did not even know. I just kept looking at this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just so for Capricorn right now. And look, look what came out. Are you joking right now? No, I know. It's just, I, I always get excited too when these things happen, but it's just more confirmation, you know? Dang. Yeah, you do you, you rebel. Don't, I mean, you got to listen to your own shit right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else? You got to laugh. Yeah. And where, where the F is your sense of humor? We may need to just laugh, right? At our mistakes or other mistakes or what failed or just, you know, whatever went awry here. Just utilize laughter, right? See, you're counteracting with love, you know, uh, utilizing love over fear. Um, maybe something going, you know, wrong to laughing about it. That's how you harness power, actually. Okay, what else? Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Okay, I'm getting, I'm sensing um, a mixture of three of pentacles with higher font. Okay, so it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's coming in and, and something maybe about your work or your dedication is paying off. Um, you know, this meerkat really looks like my kitty Len Lenny. He, li he literally does this all the time. It's so cute. He gets up on his hind legs to look. So it's like, look up from, you know, the mundane aspects of life and really look around. This is why mindfulness is so important because you'll start to pick up or sense things, especially when it comes to the right people, um, getting involved with the right groups or, you know, maybe it's a certain person or community, you know, whatever. Uh, don't be afraid, you know, because I feel that heaven knows that you feel, um, you know, a little different, right? We got that rebel here and yes, you do stick out, but you know, maybe this is a time, you know, just to remain in the background. Don't do anything too conspicuous. I mean, cause you are doing something with creativity here. Keep trusting that creative spark that you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Now, maybe it's story writing, maybe it's drawing. I mean, however you express creativity, but there may be a collaboration here um, on the horizon or you're, it's time to network or um, maybe uh, learn more of what you can, but also be proud of what you're doing and creating. Um, it really is about quality over quantity anyhow. So if you resonate with that, um, your dedication is paying off. But you, I, 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 you know what? <laughs> I keep looking at this card too. And this card that came out, it says, you know, fa CK, <laughs> uh, you need your people around you. Look at that. 
Yeah, shit is about to get real. Oh my goodness, or maybe it already did, right? <laughs> but anyhow, we're not. We're we're gonna look at this because you you know you're gonna be getting your people around you. Um, I just okay. This is not stopping for me because I just more of this rebel badass that's going on with you. You're a badass. Act like it. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Oh, you're giving your power away. Yeah, sometimes we do that. Let, look at that. Out of balance, right? Do whatever you got to do to correct it. Accountability. Getting your power back. Not giving your power away. Because you're a badass. Act like it. You know, I think it's so funny. Okay, what else? Oh, we got a reconciliation. Okay, something is going to be made right here. Um, maybe if you've fallen off the path or, um, you know, maybe a, a community, a group or a person or, you know, whatever we felt was out of balance. Now we are reconciling it all. So this is a very good indication that you just need to take it a little bit slower here. Make sure you are doing mindfulness practices right now. Um, it's going to pay off big time for you because I feel that there's going to be a resolve that's going to happen naturally. Let's get more about this reconciliation for Capricorn. I'm growing a pineapple in a pot right now that I got at the store, and I live in an area that uh, pineapples don't grow. <laughs> so this will be interesting. Anyhow, I don't know. Uh, I'm just seeing pineapples just making me think of it. Uh, symbi uh, symbiosis. So, oh my gosh, yes, we're in this place of making something mutually beneficial. It just works. Even when maybe it didn't seem like it would, or maybe it's just taken some time. See, I've, I'm, I'm really sensing um, temperance coming through. So temperance is uh, associated with Sagittarius, but there, there's something about coming to or arriving at a place where we are noticing and being fluid with all things. So whatever is reconciling, it will be mutually beneficial for you and another or those involved. Getting things correct. Now take this if it resonates too. There may have been something going on, not all of you, but maybe we got a little bit upside down with finances or something like that, right? Or resources. Maybe we've had a struggle a little bit. So I do see us getting into a place of taking accountability, uh, working with what we have, reconciling our finances in a way that is really harmonious and good. Okay. Uh, what else? So maybe get support for that if you feel the lack of knowledge in that. Some of you might be accountants or connecting with accountant. There's something about accounts. I don't know because we've got this accountability. But anyhow, February. Okay, what's going on in February? Um, we got a wind of change, though, so just go with it. Oh, yeah, look at this. There may be something important about the month of February or I'm seeing like the wind of change is happening here. Um, but it is bringing you a sincere wish that will be granted. It's like... Spirit is giving you like a lift here, <laughs> some acceleration to blow you in the right direction. Okay, what else? Oh, stepping into a new experience. Oh my gosh, and we, this one, I felt like it wanted to come out. So celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yeah, reconciling here, you know, feeling a sense of synergy with all things. So this is really good. You are stepping into like a new experience, maybe a new era. That was kind of the thing with a Pisces. So there may be something with you and a Pisces. I'm just bringing that up, but take it if you want. Don't worry if it doesn't resonate. We might even be going through some type of transformation where you don't even know what you, you, you're going to be stepping into or looking like here. I don't know. It's like the wind is blowing everything off and now we're like nude. And now we get to try on new things and see what we like to fit. And that can be really fun and exciting, actually. Okay, what else? A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you 
wiser at the end. You've got this elephant spirit here. It may have not been so fun, I know, but there is something strong about you being unstoppable, allowing love to be your um, guide or your power, but it will leave you wiser in the end and more capable of stabilizing things and not feel like you are, you know, thrown off guard, right? Too much. What else? Okay, what is up with this card? Be careful. Do not take risks. Okay, yes. Especially financi fin uh, financially too, or for some of you, there may be something with boundaries here. Don't take any shortcuts at this time. Even if it sounds good, I wouldn't do it. Because remember, there's, I said, I'm telling you, there's something about quantity over quality. Um, taking it slow, right? Paying attention to details, right? Not so much where, you know, you're getting obsessed about it, but be careful not to take a risk or take risks at this time. Um, you've got a dealing. Oh, that's weird too. You got this thing about, um, taking a risk and then a fair man. There may be someone that could be a king or a queen of swords. I feel maybe someone that has, um, great advice. Um, maybe there are, there, maybe this is a professional, but we do have a dealings, a dealings or relationship with a man that could have blonde hair, gray or white hair. Okay, I feel that you might be careful about this person, possibly. Okay, only if it's someone that could trigger you because it says a period of frustration, lessons to be learned, but this, oh, okay. Also, yeah, some of you guys may have dealt with someone that could have been an ice king. I mean, totally just cut off, cold, distant, um, you know, period of frustration, right, when it comes to being strategic or learning or coming to a conclusion, but you will. Something will be made fair here is what I'm getting. Don't allow the period of frustration to overwhelm you. Because remember, this period of frustration was a long period for you, like a long journey, but it will leave you wiser in the end. What else? Oh, shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. It is, right? Forgive and let that shit go. What else? You got something about, um, oh, good. We do have something about a commitment here, a ring that's representing some type of marriage that will take place, okay? Either romantic or business, See, this is why we're, we're aligning to our boundaries so that we can make the right accommodations to this new marriage of some type. Oh, I'm, I'm not surprised. You're such a, you're so cute, Capricorn. God dang it. I wish I could just meet you. <sighs> why can't you guys be my neighbors or something? Okay, indulge your creative, imagine, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. You know, this unicorn to me is, you know, you kind of wonder if that person or that thing is real. And I feel that that's how people see you. Like, damn, is that person real? <laughs> like, you know, because maybe they do see you as a badass, right? But also, it's not, being, it's not about being a badass and tough on the outside. We're all... You know, we all need the, a, a, fun, a fundamental um, energy of love, right? And you are all, and we are all deserving of it. But there is something really unique and magical about you. So I hope that you are tuning into that. Don't listen to others, especially when you feel like you want to do something your way or different. It's what makes you stand out. It's what makes your you and your work unique or your projects or anything that you're putting your energy into, Take some time to go out and dance if you need to. Um, maybe it is time to socialize or maybe it's time to connect with a group or a community or something online that can help you learn, you know, uh, an instrument or something artistic. Because I feel like we want to channel that frustration into, because I feel frustration is like fire energy and we want to take that fire and, and make it creative here. 
Okay, what else? Something, there is something strong about your career. Okay, I do, I mean, the way that it's landing on this mirror, I do feel there's something about allowing yourself to receive guidance, support, maybe even uh, compliments, um, whatever it is that can help you, okay? Because I do see that we're focused on career, so we'll get more about that. Oh, great, happy, you got the harp. Oh my God, maybe some of you guys may want to learn the harp or guitar. I don't know, maybe there's something about st playing strings here. Um, what a beautiful thing, right? You've got great happiness here. So your career or something that you're being led to, to focus on is leading you to great st stability and happiness. What else? changes in your life. Let's get more about those changes. We got the moon card. Changes in your life. Yes, we know. And in tarot, moon is associated with Pisces. I also feel with cancer too. But anyhow, changes in your life. Let's get more. Hmm. You, got, you might be feeling like you're having to rebuild or start over. It's going to be worth it, okay? I know it might feel a little tough at, at, at the, at right now, but it's going to be worth it. You don't have to rush. Don't take any shortcuts or anything like that. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. And isn't it kind of cute, too, that it's the moon card because it's uh, representing that night? And with every night comes a new dawn, a new day, and that's exactly what's happening. Your period of frustration or darkness is over. It's been tough. I, <laughs> it has been tough on you, I know. What else? It's challenged you to the core. It's challenged your spirituality. It's probably challenged you mentally, physically, all of it, emotionally. Oh my God, again, again. Okay, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equal equilibrium. You know, we're just kind of easy does it, taking it, taking it easy. Some of you are really, uh, really focused on your career, your hard workers, um, you know, whatever it is, right? Your physical and your spiritual pursuits need to be analyzed here. So don't be afraid to reassess, you know, where, where we've been giving too much of our time and our energy. It doesn't mean that one is bad or better than the other. It just means we're fine tuning that, that place of being neutral, enjoying it, right? There may be something here. I don't, I'm getting this too. Don't take sides. I, I just, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting that message. Don't take sides. Be neutral. Hear everyone out. Listen to everything. Remain objective. What else? Ah, five, five, five. Wow. And purpose. You might even have it. You know, you might find yourself changing your purpose, or you might you may find yourself, um, you know, going through these profound changes, right? Because you have found, or you're you're tuning into a higher calling or something a lot more purposeful for you that's working in your life, whether big or small. Change your tune. Let's get more about this change for Capricorn. Okay, we got, oh my God. <laughs> okay. This has got the ram on there, which I feel is associated with Aries, right? It says a stubborn and aggressive person. And then we got this love. It's like, oh my goodness, maybe just love those stubborn and aggressive people. Perhaps, you know, you've had to be like this ram or you've had to be very stubborn and aggressive, um, but you can take another approach, right? So just utilize a different approach. If you have been feeling like you've been more in the aggressive arena, okay? But not all of you do feel like that. But 
whatever happens or whatever is going on, just take a step back, remain objective. I really feel that you've got to remain objective when it comes to butting heads possibly with someone that could be uh, stubborn here, okay? Because it's like maybe there's... <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's someone that's going to change. And maybe this is you. I mean, you know, we've got this thing about change, though, um, from stubborn aggressive to, like, love and open. Because there is a, a real reason and purpose. And by the way, I just see this ram as, you know, a, a person who is, like, luck is on your side because you are, you are goal-driven and you're a hard worker and being stubborn and aggressive does not necessarily mean a bad thing. Sometimes we have to be like that in order to do what we got to do. Okay, what else? But I do feel there's someone frustrating here that's just like... There's nothing that can penetrate their brain or their heart or something like that, you know? For the time being, for, for right now. Oh, parting ways. Of, okay. See, oh my God, and we even have that one ring. So I think you've already gone through this or, you know, there's something about like this, this total difference, right? With this energy. So it looks like we are or have parted ways, either rom uh, romance or business. Maybe it's friendship, um, someone. And then successively overcoming a problem and a bridge will be made, right? Here's the way. What else? Okay, we do have time with someone of the same sex. So we got the teapot. Uh, to me, I feel that this is a good thing. Maybe there is something about teas or beverages of some type, or maybe, um, you know, maybe there's something about seeking out a group that you have like the same common interests, the likes. Okay. Um, anyhow, I see you having time here, a deep friendship with someone of the same sex, which I feel could be good for you. And we do have some unsuccess. Oh yeah. Okay. We got the knot here. Unsuc unsuccessful plans. Okay. Let's get more about the unsuccessful plans here. And this is why we're taking accountability, right? Because something is just out of whack. Let's get more about this knot. Now, some of you could be dealing with someone here of the same sex where it's just maybe there's some, we were planning for something and um, the plans are just not working out. Uh, give yourself more time. There is always a, a reason for things. But I, but for, for a lot of you, this is really signifying, it's like you're letting go of what just doesn't work. <laughs> if you can't get the knot out, you just can't get the knot out. You're not bothered. You're going to be spending your time and your energy focused on other things. You, you're doing you. <laughs> Let's get more with the knot. A journey, either physical or mental. Yeah, you're just moving on. <laughs> knot or no knot. It don't work, it don't work. So we've got a journey. We've got a carriage. I see this as chariot going into a new direction. Um, achieving an important goal. I, I do see something about you achieving something important for you in your life. And we could be spending some time here, you know, with someone, maybe a travel partner, just being able to, you know, talk about our journey. What else? It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency over on others. This one can be a tough one at times, depending on where you're at in life, because, you know, sometimes we get used to things, um, but you aren't, you really aren't designed and meant to go with the crowd. I mean, to me, the cat is like a rebel too. You know, they, they're very independent, um, but yet... They're very sociable, okay? But there is something about you being proud of yourself, knowing you're going to land on your feet no matter what, because there's something important here about you stepping into, you know, this place of authenticity where you're not sh overshadowed by 
other people, other situations, uh, their negativity or, or bull crap, okay? And spirit does know that you need your people around you. So be willing to let go of the people that aren't good for you so that the people that are can come in. What else? You, you're going to be getting some type of assistance and help um, and guidance, uh, most likely in the month of November, which is like a couple of months away. Make sure that you, you are putting your hand up. Don't be too proud, right? Some of you, not all of you, but some of you don't be too proud to put your hand up and ask for some type of assistance because it will be received gladly. Uh, look at that. O opportunities are waiting for you. Ooh, we got a couple of months here too, possibly, or from now in and in, into November. Mindfulness, practice that mindfulness. What else? Okay, this one wants to show itself. Okay, practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. Yeah, you might be want trying on a new hairdo, trying on a maybe um, a new self care routine, maybe a new wardrobe. Maybe you are trying trying on some mannerisms because, hello, we're changing, right? And we get to reinvent ourselves whenever we want. That's our birthright. You're just feeling things out. You're just being in a place of being um, understandable or getting to a place of aligning, um, you know, your emotions and your mind in the right place so that we can have a lot of compassion and understanding with all kinds of things. But most importantly, you know, you are coming into a, a situation where you can trust and possibly trust another here. It's almost like you're going through a transition and change in disguise for a big reveal when it's time. So it's not, it's, it's okay to try on new things. Remember, you're not meant to go with the crowd. So, you know, you get to watch others. It doesn't mean you're losing yourself by doing other things that other people are doing. You're just learning to dance with others. And you're learning, you know, your likes and your dislikes because they change all the time, right? As we are, as we get older, we, our likes and dislikes will change. What else? And that's a good thing because that means you're growing. Confidence, have confidence in release, right? Cycling things out, that you made the right choice, because you're doing things to get your power back or to not t get your power, you know, taken away, so to speak. But we are in a place of aligning and cycling out what's not necessary or maybe even unwanted or maybe just a drag, right? Or maybe releasing whatever has um, made you feel inadequate or not so confident. Remember, you're a badass, though. <laughs> Act like it. <laughs> Oh, I think that's just so funny. Okay, what else? News of a birth or a new business opportunity. We got a delivery here. <laughs> okay, so heaven is delivering something to you. Got to be mindful about this and also know that you're going to receive some type of good news. Something brand new here. A new life of some type. What else? You're overlooking some important details. So play, so pay, okay, blah, 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 so pay closer attention to what's going on. Use both your intuition and intellect to solve the problem or to get answers to your questions. So you, you know what? You're watching. Um, you're not, you, you're not doing anything um, too loudly or conspicuous. You may need to watch others. Um, also, if you're signing paperwork or documents or something like that, you know, make sure you're reviewing these things, right? Because you're in this place of taking on what you want and what you don't want, because we're aligning to new commitments in life. Now your intuition, and your logic will gu guide you right when you're in a place of not feeling triggered by anything. 
because your intuition will not be emotionally charged. It will be relaxed. Okay, what else? Oh my God, I love that. Eagle came out. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. See? The divine eye is watching over you. And also, don't get too enmeshed with things. Be like an eagle, okay? Be high in the sky so that you're not missing opportunities. Because when you're high up like that, you'll be able to see the pettiness that's been going on, right? It doesn't mean that you were being petty, but sometimes we get involved with that too because we got to deal with people. But, you know, you're just going, you're, you're, you're flying over some type of strife or conflict here. Yeah, someone's a wedge here. Okay, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. But we do have this triumph. So let's get more about this wedge. Um, what's important for Capricorn to know about this wedge? What's important for Capricorn to know about this wedge? You got to persevere. It's okay. Heaven knows what you want. Even if something or someone is trying to become be, uh, come in between you and something, um, don't fight it, okay? Because I feel that, again, we got this reconciliation. There, something is going to resolve itself, um, or you can, or you may find that as you're persevering, um, you know, we start to alter our reality and we start to notice what really is designed and good for you. And maybe this wedge is a good thing. Who knows? But you do need to know that there is, there is, there is an obstacle, okay? There is an obstacle, but you got to persevere through this by you doing you. What else? Now is a time for deep emotional healing. Oh, so don't be afraid to maybe take a deep dive. Perhaps you have already been doing that. You know, you're just cultivating um, love, things that can nourish you. Uh, pay attention to yourself right now too, because we may be in a place where we, we probably, you know, not all of you, but maybe you got to a place where you just don't care about anything right now. You know, you're like, whatever, I just don't care. Um, but there is something about you seeking some type of emotional fulfillment. So we may be just having to do a little bit of a deep dive. Okay. So let's see, let's get more. I mean, cause I just feel there's something about you not hanging on to this. You know, shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. What else? Oh, my gosh. Okay, this one is wanting us to speak. You're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. Um, and be silent. Pay attention and simply observe with your eyes and your ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. This is going to help you persevere, too. And remember I was saying, don't do anything too conspicuous because you're going to allow um, information to pretty much come to you by through observation, um, tallying, tallying things up, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. And this is going to be your compass. So don't worry because you've got the um, ability to utilize this awareness to figure things out. But it's going to happen when we're feeling a lot more grounded, right? So do whatever you got to do to feel grounded right now. What else? Nope. Okay, so that is it for that. So uh, Capricorn, I want to find out what your future self is doing. That is awesome. What is Capricorn's future self doing? That is awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay, finding that path to money or resources or abundance, however it shows up, because it will be something tangible. Look at this money. Look at the money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So your, your future self is finding the money that has been waiting for you to find it. That's what you're doing. That's awesome. 
i hope that this was helpful for you love and light